the year is 2016 unified middleweight champion of the world golovkin is the current boogeyman of his division after racking up a collection of respectable wins against the likes of david lemieux dominic wade and marco antonio rubio other fighters decide to play it smart and bide their time until Triple G's incredible talent dwanes. He's definitely the best kid I've ever fought, without definitely. But as pickings for fights get more dire by the minute, one man stands up to take the fight. The undefeated IBF welterweight title holder, Kel Brook. Can Special K prove to the world Gennady is not the Terminator that so many believe him to be? Or will Golovkin destroy Brook with his fists of fire and prove himself once again to be a man worth fearing? Welcome back to Boxing After Dark. Tonight we're turning the clock back just seven years to a time when two undefeated fighters who had no need to dissect paths challenged each other to a war of attrition, a battle of pride, and a fight to the death. While the fight lit up the boxing world with everyone stoked to see two incredible fighters put their O on the line, for the boxers themselves it was time to put their heart on their sleeves and their courage in their fists. Gennady Golovkin has his fair share of publicity, no doubt, but at this time in his career he truly was the man who all bowed down to as not just the scariest in the division, but the strongest, proudest, and greatest. Many tried to take his crown and failed, from the aforementioned Lemieux, who at the time held the IBF middleweight title, to the thoroughly outmatched Daniel Giel and Martin Murray. Gennady by this point had gone eight years since his last points decision, knocking out 22 opponents since then, without a single wobble to show for it. After first punch, that's it. You know, he understands. Okay, he's moving, it's better, dancing is better, you know, maybe he's tall. This is nothing after first punch. Golovkin wanted to become undisputed, and being the middleweight with the highest knockout to win ratio supported that fact. Having three of the four belts in the division with Canelo vacating the last, Golovkin was seen as the full champion of the division. Kel Brook, meanwhile, was a welterweight coming up to a middleweight's world, and despite having a world title to his name, his talent in opposition had been a steep increase, with his best early wins being against the likes of Matthew Hatton, younger brother of British legend Ricky, and Michael Jennings, a fighter with a pretty looking record without the wins to show for it. Things didn't start to look truly serious for Kel until he had a close fight against the undefeated Sean Porter, a champion of the people with a string of impressive victories leading up to their incredible matchup. How bad do you want to walk in the footsteps of Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, all these all-time greats people look back on and go, do you remember when Kel Brook became the unified middleweight champion at the O2 and shocked the world? This is what we're fighting for on Saturday night. Do you understand me, you slag? The language barrier during the lead up to the fight led to a short yet telling pre-fight situation. It's the biggest, gonna be the biggest upset ever. And uh, I'm ready, I'm ready to, uh, to take that. I'm ready, I'm ready for this moment. I'm ready to rip them titles away from, from Golovkin. I respect my opponent because I understand situation. He's very strong, he's a very good fighter, you know. Just, I understand situation, this, this is boxing. No, I'm not scared. Fight night beckoned on the 10th of September in 2016. As Kell Brook enters the ring with his iconic theme of all of the lights blaring through the speakers, it's clear Kell is here to show his brilliance and beautiful flashes and overwhelm Triple G with what could be described as a physical seizure with his fists alone. Golovkin returns the favor as he walks to a hip-hop classic of his own, courtesy of DMX, and it's clear he wants the crowd to remember his name. As the two talents touch gloves and the referee signals the rules, the bell rings out. Any others who try can Kell Brook follow in the footsteps of fighters like Leonard and Griffith. We're about to see as he goes against Gennady Golovkin. Looking more the way he did against Dominic Wade, trying to get in and land power shots. And Triple G. Triple G is setting him up, and if he's still on that rope... Body shot, Brook is in trouble. Right now he's being overwhelmed and overpowered. Uppercut by Brook. Left hook brought the crowd alive. Triple G is number one in the sport by talking about Scott and landing jabs. There's a good uppercut for Brook. There's a right hand for Brook. And now Golovkin comes back with the left hook. There's Round one sees both fighters looking alive. Golovkin lands an incredible body shot followed by a crushing left hook to the jaw. Yet Kell survives and pushes on with some pressure of his own, landing on Gennady like no previous fighter ever has. Veteran referee Marlon Wright staying away and creating some distance to give freedom of movement. The fight with Triple G, maybe he wants it that way, and they're trading in the center of the ring. In 
the left hand landing a series of jabs, right hand across Brook. Brook used to do a nice short counter left hook that caught Triple G coming in. When Triple G is caught in. Uppercut by Brook. Crowd comes out of its seats. Excited by the uppercut. Golovkin gets in a right hand over the top. But Brook comes back with a forefront domination. Brook, let's not get too brave, but smart enough to fight a smart man fight. Now you see Golovkin, Golovkin getting a lot of pressure on Brook. Was able to keep a lot of the action in the center of the ring where he likes it. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Dominance. Larry will worry about the so confident that he can hit Brook. If he had landed it solidly, it could have hurt Golovkin. I think he is hurt, Jim. He got hit with a short uppercut just now with the right hand. But Golovkin keeps bearing in and putting pressure on Kell Brook here in round three. In that same eye with the left hand. And Brook comes back aggressively, winning the admiration of the crowd. Kell Brook seeming to feel a sense of urgency because Brook, at moments here and there, is outboxing him career. Don't be on the ropes. Be in the center of the ring or keep moving left to right. As you see on the ropes, Triple G has a shot when he's on the ropes. Both fighters' faces are showing damage from the shots they've landed in the first three rounds. In the fourth. It looked like, it looked like Triple G is just actually, you know, pushing his punches. Doesn't look like he have any Snap snap on it, Jim. It doesn't... In the clean a lot of punches. But I gotta tell you, Jim, Cal Brook got some jaw. I mean, I haven't seen a guy stand there and trade with Gennady Golovkin in God knows how long. Three to one, Golovkin. And Golovkin delivers his fiercest rally of the fight. Look to the ropes, Bernard. And Brook is putting his hands up like he wasn't hurt, but you know, he might be hurt later by the accumulation of those punches. He needs himself to get countered like he just did with a straight right. And, and I believe he's hurt with this, and now Triple G is going to keep him there if he can. Through the fifth round. Golovkin is now landing body shots again, as he did in round number one. And yes, he is. He's pop shotting right now, and as you see, in a straight right. And Dominic, Dominic. Engel hurt. in the far corner is holding up a towel. Engel is trying to get referee Marlon Wright to stop the fight, and now he finally throws the towel into the ring, and Gennady Golovkin is going to have a technical knockout victory in round number five. And We're going to have to wait to hear stop. what Dominic Engel has to say about what he did. Obviously, it's going to be fascinating to hear what Kell Brook thinks about the stoppage and about how he was doing to that point in the fight against Gennady Golovkin. With the pressure of a hydraulic press smashing down a marshmallow, Kell Brook gets overwhelmed as he struggles to see just where all the punches are flying in from. As his corner throws in the towel, it's official that Gennady Golovkin has once again stayed undefeated and Kell Brook has received his first loss. With a, with a fight with this magnitude of a fight, you know, he should have carried on. You know, uh, Dominic Ingle seen me probably from nine year old coming through. You know, he's, he's watching from the outside. I don't know what's going through his mind, but me as a fighter, as a warrior, you know, I want to carry on. Not me out. That. Not me out. I feel after the first round, he's, he's not middleweight and I'm not scary. I'm today just not boxing, not like world class, boxing world class, you know, like street fight, like, like sparring. This is like sparring. Golovkin, as of 2023, has since vacated all of his belts and is assumed to have unofficially retired despite repeated call-outs from Chris Eubank Jr. If he chooses to retire, I mean, that's his choice and he deserves it, you know, but if he chooses to continue, he deserves that as well. Whether Triple G is truly out for the count in boxing, there's no doubt he's been a special talent for the sport and created one of the greatest trilogies in modern boxing. Kell announced his retirement after his great win against Amir Khan, inciting the reason being he doesn't want to be a gatekeeper and that he believes himself to be at the top level but with no champions to face that he changed. Whether he can be goaded into returning is another question with call outs by Chris Eubank Jr. and Connor Ben coming from every which way. Me and Kell Brook. There's a lot of things I'm thinking and a lot of things I shouldn't say so I won't say but my, ha my hands raised at the end of it. But whether Kell Brook returns or not, he has had some great wars, good wins and a highly respectable career and we salute him and his opposition in Gennady Golovkin for the great entertainment they've brought to the last decade of professional boxing. 
If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more from us here at Boxing After Dark, feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to drop a like and comment. Thanks for watching.